Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Locking Down the Ladder. As always, this is Lagan K. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Um, today, we're going to be using the same team that we've been using for the past couple days uh, with a small minor adjustment, and that would be we have dropped uh, Dragazolt for Dragovish. And um, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit better. Uh, we don't really have to worry about Dragovish being so. Um, what's the word? So frail in the event of being up against flying and. Uh, ground types because um, a lot of our problems already stem from the fact that we have you know nothing that could really touch you know ground types as is so I think Dragovish might be our key point here uh, we do have a sand rush Dragovish um, pretty much I literally in between episodes and uh, for anybody curious it's literally probably about 20 minutes in between I literally went hatch a fossil not hatch a fossil but you know went to careless went to god fossil Went and used pretty much all our XL candies that we had. Went and got an ability patch. Did all that jazz. Bought some bottle caps and... Welcome to... Say hello to Kazoo 2. <laughs> uh, technically, it's actually funny now I think about it. Because I think it's Kazoo 2 is the first one that you guys are meeting out of both uh, Drug Fish that I've used. And uh, <laughs> it's the Mew Mewtwo situation all over again. But, um, you know, we're going to try and pull back from that really embarrassing episode that we had last time. Um... That, that was just... I don't want to talk about it. We, we just... We don't talk about how poorly we did. That was just absolutely terrible in every aspect. But, um... We're back, guys. We're going to try it again. Um... We're definitely going to try it again. <laughs> uh... So, given the fact that this is literally recorded literally 20 minutes after the last one, I do not have... I, I haven't been able to read anybody's comments, obviously. Uh... Because, at the moment, it's still... Uploading. Great. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and just hop on into this. So, we have two genies uh, the Rillaboom, Tapu Fini, Meowstic, and Metagross. Very interesting team here. Uh, looks pretty intimidating. Um, Tapu Fini is going to be a little bit of a problem. Tapu Fini is going to be a slight problem, actually. So, here comes the question What do we, what do, we do? Uh, I really feel comfortable with Celesteel Sandaconda lead. And, uh, you know, the reason Celesteel Sandaconda is because I could potentially, like, put up a max overgrowth over the Finny if this Finny comes in, uh, in a lead. You know, max airstream does a lot of damage to Rillaboom. Um, I'm a little worried about... Hmm. Actually, you know what? You know what? We're gonna bring Togekiss in. And the reason we're gonna do Togekiss is because... Metagross can hit Togekiss pretty hard, which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, Thunderous can hit Togekiss pretty hard, which is a little bit of a problem. But both actually sit there and do not kill Togekiss if everything goes correctly, which lead us to proccing the weakness policy. Um, definitely have a Nihilego in the back. And part of me says Dracovish might be a decent choice. Uh, but I'm actually going to I'm actually gonna go Celesteel instead. I'm actually going to go Celesteel instead because uh, I do not I do not trust. Uh, it's not that I don't trust Shrigovish. It's I think that Celesteel might be the better call. Also, I think I need to turn this down just a smidge. I do apologize about that. There we go. That was very loud. Even though I really very much enjoy that. All right, so that is exactly what we were kind of worried about, honestly. But. It's fine. This is actually okay. Um, hmm. The meow stick is going to be kind of a, a nuisance. Let's go ahead and just high horsepower, anyways. Uh, I want to double into this type of finny here. I should be a little worried, but it's a it's a risk we're willing to take here, guys. It's a risk we're willing to take here, you know, Dynamax and right off the bat, which is kind of a risky play. But we're probably going to get, you know, Yawn. We're probably going to get... Yeah, I can see a Yawn probably coming in from Meowsic now I think about it. That's a... That's a... That's, this is foolish. So he's actually going to skill swap, which is interesting. Um, probably something I should be kind of worried about. I don't know what's going to go on here. Oh. Okay, interesting. Alright, so, 
This is not so problematic now. This is actually not so problematic now because this is going to break the sash, or not sash, but the substitute. Um, it's going to break the substitute. We're going to do some extra damage with our high horsepower if we hit. This actually does work out really, really well for us. This actually works out really, really well for us. Alright, so it's just going to be just over. Um, which is a little annoying. It's, it's a little annoying, but... I think what we're going to do is we're going to rock slide. Actually, yeah, we're going to rock slide here. Uh, because... Actually, no, no, no. We're still not faster. We're, st we're still not faster. Um, I'm... Yeah, we just rock slide anyways. I forgot to... I forgot to back all the way out. That's my bad. That's 100% on me. I'm just an absolute moron buffoon. Uh, light screen's not a problem. Light screen is not a problem whatsoever. Because that should break, right? It should break. Yeah. There we go. It's going to spend all that time gonna spend all that time trying to get it so Tappy Finny actually avoids it which is mildly unfortunate mildly unfortunate but it's not the worst so that's actually a jack button which interesting I guess that's actually really smart to you know constantly replenish your uh, what do you call it your uh, skill swapping uh, prankster Alright, so now here comes problem number two. I can see a very possible eerie impulse coming in here. And, um... This is going to make this type of Finny just a little bit bulkier and a little bit more obnoxious to deal with. But I think we could still pull this off. Um, I'm not really worried. Oh, he's actually going to go straight for it. He's going to go for the Gusto, guys. Alright. That's actually kind of good for us if this is not the Finny. Okay. So I'm actually kind of excited for this, solely for the fact being is Electric Terrain is going to nullify, you know, any kind of uh, Misty Terrain. He's going to substitute. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm a little worried that this Max Lightning is going to do a lot more than I am wanting. But that's seriously all we're going to be worried about, folks. I was actually expecting a Prankster Thunderous, which is not the worst. Alright, the Finny is gone. Pretty sure at this point the Finny really didn't matter. <laughs> Alright. Now, Togekiss. Handling it like a champion. Look at that. Togekiss just eats everything. But good news is, whatever comes in is going to get glared. Thinking glare. Glare might be a good idea. But our speed is also maxed out on um, both mons. You know, as much as we can max it out for Airstream. So we do outspeed everything, uh, unless it's, you know, obviously Prankster. So this is going to be a very interesting, interesting matchup. Alright, you're going to be obnoxious. <laughs> You're going to be a very obnoxious kitty cat, aren't you? I'd be surprised if you weren't. Alright, let's go ahead and rock slide here. And let's go ahead and Dazzling Gleam. Because Glare's not really going to do much. It is a priority mon. Reflect is going to be... Okay. Thank you, Togekiss, for that critical hit. We needed that. That's actually very, very helpful. Alright, so... That's good damage outside of a flinch, too. That's actually not bad at all. Alright, Togekiss actually did really, really good there. Really appreciative of what Togekiss did. We're going to bring Nihilego in here. Um, the only thing I could really be worried about is Rillaboom? Yep, there's Rillaboom. Okay. Rillaboom is the slight problem. Because he still has one turn of Dynamax left, if memory serves correctly. 
And if that is the case, which I can almost guarantee, um, we are going to just go ahead and glare. And we're actually going to Meteor Beam. Actually, no, there's a potential flinch here, or potential fake out. There's a potential fake out here. I could see it. Um, Grassy Glide would be a very smart play on his end, too. But I can feel a fake out coming in um, because Nihilego does pose a massive threat. You know, he's probably going to get an airstream up and then. He's probably going to airstream and fake out just so he can ensure the speed. Alright, so actually it was a grassy glide into Sanaconda. That is either. That's banded. That's 100% a banded uh, Rillaboom. Because Sanaconda is built to survive them unless they're banded, so that is mildly problematic. But there is the airstream that we did call. So that's actually heavily problematic. We kind of biffed that last. We kind of biffed that play here. We actually really biffed that play here. We actually really biffed that play. I'm actually kind of sad. Because that this loss, if we do lose here, 100% on me. 100% on me. I should have, I should have guessed it was a banded Rillaboom. I really should, I really should have assumed it was a banded Rillaboom. You always assume it's a banded Rillaboom. Always assume we're banded Rillaboom. That's that's 100% on me, folks. That's 100% on me. All right, let's go for a flamethrower onto this guy. Um, and a power gem. The reason I'm power gem is because I want to try and ensure 100% accuracy. Yeah, that's banded. Does Silla steal a hold? She does. Is this Assault Vest? If it's Assault Vest, we lose. That is 100% Assault Vest. Okay, um, I'm an idiot, I'm an absolute idiot, absolute buffoon, um, yeah, we're just gonna give up, we're just gonna give up, that, is, that was 100% on me, folks, that is literally 100% on me, 110% uh, on me, we should have saw that coming, that he was gonna try and get rid of the Santa Conda for some reason, I don't know why he went for the Santa Conda, um, but he did. It's fine. Thank you for the nugget. That's that's unfortunate. All right. Well, honestly, if we lose, if we lose the rest of these matches, guys, because look at that, we're we're just falling. Like we're not just falling. Like we are like without a parachute at this point. <laughs> uh, if we do lose these next two matches, if we do lose these next two matches, folks, uh, we are just gonna bring in a new team. We're just bringing in a new team. We might bring back an oldie, but Goldie, I don't know. All I know is this, this is just not not working out for us. This team, you know, was good, and then all of a sudden, it's just falling flat. <laughs> it's just falling flat. Now, again, I want to stress that one was on me for not just going for the Meteor Beam onto the, uh, onto the guy. That was 100% on me. You know, now that I think about this, this isn't so much uh, walking down the ladder as uh, floundering. <laughs> it really sucks, but um, you know what? While we're waiting, while we're waiting, let's talk about our question of the day here. It's a little bit less, uh, well, never mind, but uh, it's a little bit less, you know, serious than everything else that we've had lately, and that is, what is your favorite fossil Pokemon? Personally, my favorite is Dracovish. Dracovish is now, like, my all-time favorite. It's my favorite Gen 8 Mon. Um, it's just such a such a fun Pokemon. All right, so here we go again with a Spectrier lead. Um, Spectrier uh, Metagross lead, which is problematic, mildly problematic. But we're gonna go ahead and lead Celesteela Santaconda. Celesteela kind of handles most everything here. Santaconda is a good addition. Um, the only thing I could really see being a problem is Snarl. Literally, that is it. And I'm not talking about Grim Snarl. I'm talking about Snarl from uh, this boy right here. But, mm, 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 mm. 
Nilego in the back. And uh, I can't see why we wouldn't possibly have Dracovish. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring Dracovish. Ugh. I'm not saying ugh to the Dracovish. I'm just saying uh, because now we are like, we've lost four matches in a row. Like, we have a 0% win, ch uh, zero percent win rate in mass ball tier, which is, it sickens me. It sickens me because this team did so well, like, you know, as I said, on theory. All right. Please be a Screens Grim Snarl. Oh, please be a Screens Grim Snarl. If not, that's going to be... It's going to be sad boy hours, folks. Um, we're going to glare this guy because we want him to be a lot slower. That way he can't bulldoze easy. Um, we're just going to start trying to deny everything. That's We're going we're gonna to do what you know we were built to do, is deny absolutely everything. And, I mean, even still, if he does, like, you know, lagging tail us, Celesteela is pretty comfortable with it, because Celesteela's got a bunch of natural bulk. Um, I'm actually really not worried about it any way, shape, or form. So, that it does show is a screens. Thankfully, it's a light clay set. Um, Snarl comes in. As I said, that was going to be the problematic child of everything. Because we can't really touch much, but... But, folks... Santaconda is gonna like pick up the slack here that uh, Celesteela can't do. Selly, she's gonna do whatever she can, but 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 it's not her fault. At this point, it's not her fault if she can't, you know, do much. So let's go ahead and get a big glare going here. All right, some good damage. Uh, we're going to pick up on the Grim Snarl here. And the reason we're picking up on Grim here is because, well, I want to make this thing literally suffer. Uh, I think it still might actually outspeed now I think about it. So he's actually going to go for a Thunder Wave. He's going to try and like, we're just going to be playing, you know, we're going to be playing games against each other. Steela actually holds on. Missing that, uh, or avoiding that, I should say. So, as long as we don't get a full para, it's fine. Alright, and we don't get a full para, which, that makes me very happy. Grimmsnarl is going to go down here. We don't have to worry about Grimmsnarl anymore. Um, there's no reflect. Not that we really are needing a reflect. I mean, Dracovish was kind of our best play here. But... That's it. Like, we have a shot now. Like, we're we're kind of back in control. To an extent. To a small extent. Because we are now faster than, um... Uh, we're faster than Spectreer. We could just rock slide, try and do that denial as we've been talking about. Um, honestly, we're just bringing in... Oh, he's actually going to bring in this guy, which is really good for us. Um, I'm actually fine with this. Uh, let's go ahead and max airstream the Spectreer, and we're going to glare this guy. And the reason we're going to glare it is because I want to try and deny him of getting his, uh... I want to try and deny him of getting his, like, weakness policy off and everything, if that is the weakness policy. We could be looking at a berry one, too. Um, this is okay. I'm, I'm not worried about this at all. Uh, if we can get a full para, that would be actually really, really clean. That's actually still a lot of damage for being at negative one and negative one and in a uh, light screen. That's actually a lot, not bad. All right, so there's a nasty plot. That's okay. Um, that's okay. That's actually 100% okay. Because as I said, we're here to just like deny everything that we possibly can. Sanaconda. If Santa Conda can hold out through the rest of this, this is going to be really great. Um, let's go ahead and flash cannon, hopefully, like, drop its special defenses. Uh, let's go rock slide, because I really am starting to feel like he's not the weakness policy set. 
He is going to Dynamax, though, which is going to be a little bit problematic. We just got to kind of hope that it's nothing but um, paralysis from here on. Like, as I said, this team is meant to be just absolute denial. So, we could be hopeful. We could be extremely hopeful. It's weird that Santa Con is the absolute fastest thing on the field right now. I find that kind of funny. Oh my god, it is the weakness policy. I knew it. I knew it. I felt it in my soul. And we still did it. You're going to just shadow ball. Wow. Get, you, just, you just don't care. You just don't care, do you? Alright. Spadef drop. Spadef drop. Nope. Max darkness. So, pretty much, uh... They don't want Santa Conda around. <laughs> They really don't want Santa Conda around, which is really unfortunate. Uh, Santa Conda did what Santa Conda needed to do. I'm proud of her. And you are out of here. Farewell, Spectreer. Fine with that. Fine with losing. Getting rid of that Spectreer. Um, Dragonfish actually might come in here, like, pretty comfortably here. I'm actually pretty comfortable with bringing... Uh... Hmm... Max Guard, maybe? I could see a potential Max Guard coming in here. Um, I think I think what we're going to do is we're still going to go for it anyways. I think we're still going to go for it anyways because um, Nihilego still should be able to pick up both these, like, with these. Nihilego should be able to pick both of these up pretty easily. That's Choice Banded. That's Choice Banded Sand Rush. Dragofish is just... Dragofish needs Strong Jaw. Dragofish definitely needs Strong Jaw. Which is unfortunate. Um, full Para. That's, that's a little rough. That's fine. Sandstorm subsides. And that's the end of his Dynamax, correct? <sighs> that's annoying. That's really annoying. Um, that's actually really, really annoying, but it's fine. Let's go for a Meteor Beam here. And the reason we're going for the Meteor Beam is that way we, we at least get a special attack off regardless. And if we lose this one, like, I'm just... As I said, if we lose all three sets this time around, we're just not, uh... We're not keeping this team. Alright, I have no idea how much longer the... Hmm. Okay. So we're at plus two. That Muddy Water shouldn't do over 50. If it does over 50, I'm gonna be really sad. Why did that do so much? Oh man, that's that's rough. All right, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the info. What is their light screen sitting at? Two out of eight. Um, that's that's unfortunate. Yeah, this team is just not going to cut it, guys. Um, I'm making the elective decision right now that no matter what, this team is just not sticking around anymore. Um, this team is just not not worth it the team is not worth the hassle it's not worth the heartache um we're just gonna go for a sludge bomb here the team is not worth it folks look at that just barely eking out a man nah this team this team is just garbage it, which is a real shame, because as I said, it's shown a lot of promise. It's shown a lot of promise, but it can't even, like, it can't even take care of that, like. This team is actually a joke. I'm actually getting a little, little frustrated, because we were doing not too bad, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're in Master Ball? All the way back there. 
all the way back there. You're you're falling. So um, yeah, it, it's a, it's a shame, guys. It's a shame because like, as I said, it showed a lot of promise, and then it's like, no, we're not we're not gonna do anything. Um, it's a shame, really. All right, so as weird as it sounds, I'm really going to lead Santa Cana Togekiss. Um, Santa Cana Togekiss. Uh, actually, no, Togekiss is definitely, definitely a bad idea. Um, you know what? I want to try something a little different. We're going to lead Ninjas Nia Lego, and the reason we're going to lead Ninjas Nia Lego is because we can Dynamax Ninjas right off the bat. For our max night or max darkness, and power gem should kill. If it doesn't, we're just we're wrapping the episode. Like, because it is not worth anybody's time to deal with this team. Like th these past two episodes, kind of don't want to count them. But you know, as I said, like this entire thing is a learning experience. Like it, it's an absolute learning experience. Like this team, like it had promise. It showed well, but the moment it's like actually in the fray of everything it's like nah ooh uh, what do we do here so i'm glad to see that incineroar was n or not incineroar um you know what it's going to be either big brain play or little tiny brain play. It's going to be either big brain play or little brain play. We're just going to Dynamax right off the bat. Um, I do not want it to be a free switch in. We're sticking to our guns, folks. We're sticking to our guns. We are 100% sticking to our guns here. Because even that negative one, a Max Quake should wipe out a Nihilego. So the Fake Out is definitely coming into our Nihilego, that's fine. Um, if this is Sash, it's going to be a little sad, but a lot of people run Power Herb over, you know, Sash nowadays. Alright, so that's definitely good news. Their Nihilego is gone. Ninjask, thank you. <laughs> Ninjask actually is like, no, I don't, I don't want to go. Ninjask doesn't want to go. All right, so here's the thing, Ninjask. Hmm. Uh... Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so we're going to Max Darkness again, or not Max Darkness, uh, Max Quake again. To get as much special defense as possible, but we're actually going to Meteor Beam the uh, Incineroar. And the reason we're Meteor Beaming the Incineroar is because Night Lego cannot touch Metagross at all. Night Lego cannot touch Metagross in the slightest. Um, at that point, we're kind of wanting to try and get whatever's in the back out. Um, on their side, on their side. I want to try and get that Metagross a little bit of damage. We are going to be proccing its weakness policy, but um, it's whatever. It's whatever. I think Steela can handle. Steela is a big girl. All right, let's go ahead and do this. If we get a crit, I'd be very happy. But the odds of that happening are pretty low. That's still a lot of damage. That's still a lot of damage from uh, Ninjask. I'm very proud of Ninjask. Ninjask is definitely holding its own. Oh man. All right. Let's get this meteor beam going. All right, and it does connect, thankfully. I would have been actually really upset if it didn't connect. Incineroar is gone. We're going to lose Nihilego here. Like, we're losing Nihilego here. If he actually goes for the Ninjask, I'm going to be surprised. But, I mean, honestly, it could be either one at this point. Max Steel Spike? No, he's actually going for the Max Quake, which is actually super, super smart. That's actually super, super smart. 
So he's getting a special defense boost, which a little unfortunate, but we can handle it. We can handle it. We're 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 able to do this. I don't know why I had stuttered on the word were, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Sandaconda, step on down. We're going to go ahead and paralyze you. I don't remember if he's got Finny in the back. He doesn't have Finny in the back, which is really good. Paralysis might not be a good idea here. Paralysis may not be a good idea here, but you know what? We're going to go for it anyways. I'm not scared. Dusclops. Ah! Yeah. It's, a, it's an unfortunate farewell to this team, folks. It is a very unfortunate farewell to this team. Ninjask tried so hard. Like, I'm actually really proud of Ninjask here. Ninjask genuinely tried. Like, he tried his absolute best. Uh, let's go ahead and protect here. It's nothing that could be done. Um, actually, you know what? Instead of protecting, let's go ahead and dig. And the reason we're going to dig is because I can feel that he's going to try and double into uh, Santa Conda. He's going to try and get rid of Santa Conda or something. All right, he's going to will it with Santa Conda, which is that's fine. That, it's a little unfortunate, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to go for the Paralysis onto the Metagross. Yep, there goes Ninjask. That wouldn't have survived, so, you know, die trying. Die trying, Ninjask. You did good, buddy. You can rest. It's unfortunate we did not get to showcase Ninjask here. It's really unfortunate we did not get a chance to showcase Ninjask. All right, Celestila, it's all up to you now, baby. All right, so since we lack any kind of defensive maneuvers here, we're going to actually go ahead and protect uh, Santa Conda. Let's hope we get full paras here on Metagross. That's all I can really pray for. Um, until the trick room, like, resides, at least. He's actually going to go protect on the Metagross. That's actually 100% fine with me. I have absolutely no quarrels with that ideal. Am I seeing a potential Nightshade coming in here? Oh, he's actually going to will with Celesteela. That's fine. Um, it's actually fine. We're going to take unnecessary damage, but it's whatever. Does Celesteela handle an Ice Punch from Metagross? So that's the question. That That's the million dollar question here, folks. Does Sandicon, or Celesteela handle an Ice Punch? We should be able to handle it, but I don't know. We're actually going to double in to the Metagross and watch an Ally Switch come out of left field, right? Ally Switch going to come out. He's actually going to Nightshade. Okay, so this makes it even less likely that we're going to handle it. Oh, but that works out in our favor. Thank you so much. And Metagross is gone. That's a good feeling. That is a good feeling. Celesteela holding on. And we should be we should be over 50 health. This is fine. We gotta hold on for at least another. I think it's two two turns, uh, two or three turns. Are we at two or three turns? That's the question. 
Uh, trick room. Oh, one turn. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm absolutely fine with this. Let's go for a Giga Drain. Let's go for a Glare onto the Dusclops. And the reason we're Giga Draining is because, well, we're going to need as much health as we can. Especially to hold off and stave off against, you know, this Onslaught. That's not going to be nearly enough. Uh, we're probably looking... Oh, we're looking at just 50. It's unfortunate. Alright, so now we got to play this game of flinching. Here's the denial time, guys. Now it's time for denial. Not great. This is not great for us in any way, shape, or form. Well, let's go ahead and air slash. And it's Anaconda Wood. It would be nice if just at least one one. It would have been nice to at least win one. It would have been really nice to at least win one. The odds of this happening is actually kind of low, which makes it really sad. But at the same time, if he doesn't have Pain Split, which it's not showing that he does, we may have the option. Um, I'm actually going to Rock Side again because he's still not within, like, KO range. There we go. We at least won the last one with this team. That's that's nice. At least we won one. I almost ran. <laughs> I meant to go for protect. I mean, we might as well have just ran, but it's rough. That that's a really rough match, guys. I'm sorry. But we finally got a win. I'm going to build a new team. <laughs> that simple. I'm going to build a new team, guys, uh, because this is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, well. Winning in the highest rank. Wow, thanks for rubbing it in, guys. We won in the highest rank. A master rank ribbon has been given to each Pokemon on your battle team. Do you want to check the opposing battle trainer team? Yes, let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so we did see Assault Vest... Glass Trader. We didn't actually see it. Thankfully, that would have been just absolutely horrible to deal with. Uh, quiet Nate or Brave Nature. I don't know what I'm thinking there. Icicle Crash, Assault Vest, uh, High Horsepower, Close Combat, Heavy Slam, which is really good. I'm actually surprised seeing a lot of Heavy Slam lately, given that uh, Heavy Slam doesn't work on Dynamax. So, like, I guess it only took a year and a half to start seeing it come out of the woodwork, which is really, really cool. Alright, so Citrus Berry and Cineroar. Um... Thankfully, we didn't get a chance to see that, but it was a, uh, I, I don't know what nature that is right off the bat, but, you know, Night Lego just sat there and said, no, it's not happening. Fake Out, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat, which is really, really good. Really, really good. Normally, you know, I see Protect every once in a while. Thank God we didn't see that. All right, Metagross, we did see was a weakness policy. Very bulky. It was actually a brave nature as well, so this was hard trick room. Uh, Iron Head, Stomp a Tantrum, Ice Punch, Protect. Really, really good, really solid Pokemon there. Nihilego was Trick Room, Meteor Beam, Sledge Bomb, Protect. Um, <laughs> really glad we did not let this little guy get off. Um, that would have been really sad, really awkward for us. But uh, Sludge, or Trick Room over the uh, Power Gem that's normally on there. Um, I personally like having both Power Gem and Meteor Beam solely for the fact being it allows us to, you know, 
what's the word? Um, have more coverage instead of like being locked into a turn, not doing anything. Um, that's kind of why I like it a little bit more. Life Orb Tapu Koko, um, you know, Life Orb Tapu Koko is a pretty cool one. Uh, Modest Nature instead of the Timid, which is really interesting. So Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, Volt Switch Protect. We didn't see that guy at all. This Dust Clops was actually Trick Room, Nightshade, will o -Wisp, Bulldoze. Thank God it wasn't Pain Split. Oh, thank God it wasn't Pain Split. That would have been just absolute sad times here. Um, you know, standard EV Light set. Um, but overall, that, that was a good team. Um, you know, we had to do what we had to do. To win that one um do you want to continue battling absolutely not we're gonna go get out of here we're probably gonna start stream shortly after this you know by the time you guys see me streaming you know the day that the last episode went up that's when this one is finished <laughs> but um yeah we're gonna be looking for a new team member but uh we're gonna get out of here thank you guys for watching as always if you guys did enjoy don't forget to answer that question of the day hit that like button subscribe turn those notifications on and don't forget to also follow me on twitch everything is going to be down below don't forget to check everything out. Thank you guys for watching. As always, we're going to get out of here, and we'll see you guys next time. But until then, y'all be safe.